Hi, and welcome to Janice Photography's home studio. Today I'm showcasing a recently completed project that I finished about a month ago, and it's a 13 by 19 inch uh, homemade from scratch uh, photo book. And I was inspired to, uh, to make this book from a recent visit that I had to the UK and uh, visiting a friend of mine, David Ward, and his daughter, uh, Izzy Ward, who's a very talented young lady, uh, was at his house one day when I was there, and she was working on making some of her own handmade uh, journals and books, and it just inspired me to uh, give it a shot when I, when I came home, thinking that I might be able to do something incorporating my photographs into this book. And then as... Uh, Coincidence would have it, on the flight home, I was reading the most recent copy of Black and White Photography and reading a very interesting article by uh, Eddie Ephraims, who is quite a talented graphic uh, artist and photographer. And he had a, uh, a nice little article that he put together on making homemade, kind of our handmade uh, books. So with that, uh, I bring you my book. As I mentioned, the, uh, the book is a full 13 by 19 inches. Um, I decided to, to stick with the stock size of my printing paper, which is a Super B size in the U.S. Uh, it's netted out at about an inch and a quarter thick. Um, we have our hinged cover. The cover material was a, uh, an imported Italian uh, black linen. The binding was a traditional Japanese uh, stab binding with all these holes that I drilled and hand sewn. Following uh, Eddie's article and some online um, YouTube videos, finally figured that all out. And then to Add some interest to the cover. I had taken one of my uh, favorite images from the show and uh, pasted that on, on the front. Well, let's take a look inside. Well, let's take a look inside. We have the title page here. Uh, 36 reflections from behind the lens. That was the name of my show that I had uh, at the Orazio Salati Gallery back in April, uh, May, and June of this year. Um, I used a terracotta colored uh, liner paper for the inside of the cover with all of my folded corners in, in detail there. The hinged cover, as we saw earlier. Although I scored each one of these pages, um, it's still a little stiff in opening. Uh, I included my quote from the show uh, just to remind myself of, of what it was all about. And basically this book includes the 36 images that were presented at the show. And the format that I did these in was to have the caption on the left hand page uh, numbered because there was 36 of them. The date, location, and then a small little uh, paragraph, couple sentences of a blurb about the actual image. The portrait style images worked well. I had a little issue with what to do with the landscape, but I just I kept the same size uh, and just rotated those. So for the handful of landscape images that are in the book, um, the reader just has to turn the page. But this would be typical for the format. I used all matte black uh, ink 
for this. And I think you'll see if I can zoom in here pretty well. There's a fair level of, uh, of detail and things printed fairly well on the Epson uh, 3800. So all these were choreographed as to which images to print, front and back. Uh, these are really kind of a, a summary of 36 of my most recent and favorite uh, black and white images, many of which were from Italy. So we won't bore you with all the, the details, but as we progress through the book, we'll get towards the end here. Some of you may recognize some of these images. This one here on a nice trip to Montana and Wyoming with Mr. Ward. And then at the back, I reproduced my uh, promotional poster that I had at the show that was done in uh, Photoshop, but that was mounted quite large. I think it was something on the order of uh, two and a half feet by five feet. And then a little vainness with my own photograph, uh, courtesy of Mr. Ward, and a biography statement. Again, that's present at the show. And then the last page contains uh, just a simple logo. And the back cover. Again, you can see the detailing here. which for the first time I think came out fairly well and I'm happy with most of it. Definitely learned a lot. So that is, uh, that is about it. 36 Reflections from Behind the Lens by Greg Chanis.